Education is the most powerful weapon that can be used to change the world. Indeed, an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Monday, the 21st of May 2018, was a Dida historic day in Adoikiti, the capital of Ekita State in southwest Nigeria. It was a special day when different people from diverse works of life gathered to witness the significant commissioning of four ultra-modern projects at the Afeba Balola University, Adwekiti, Abuad. The projects were the multi-billion naira state-of-the-art social and management science building, the ultra-modern postgraduate building and halls of residence, the sophisticated telemedicine equipment inside the ultra-modern world-class Afeba Balola multi-billion naira hospital, and the university's 18M Fixed Dome Planetarium. Afe Babalola University, Adoikiti, Abuad, is a federal government licensed non profit private university established in 2009 by a renowned lawyer, a former pro chancellor of the University of Lagos, Are Afe Babalola. The university is located on 130 hectares of land at an altitude of over 1,500 feet above sea level which ipso facto provides a cool and ideal environment for learning and sporting activities. It is the only university in Nigeria which, prior to the issuance of a provisional license by the federal government of Nigeria, moved to its permanent site and constructed magnificent college buildings, college hostels, staff quarters, and equipped with modern teaching facilities including e-learning platforms and electronic boards, all within eight months. The National Universities Commission, NUC, was so impressed that it described the university as a miracle, a model reference point and benchmark for other universities. Meanwhile, the Afe Babalola University Adoikiti Abuad, in its first four years of existence, was ranked the second best private university in Nigeria, in 2013. There was a rich array of dignitaries present to witness the historic commissioning of four big ticket projects. The founder of the university and senior advocate of Nigeria, a respected educationist and great contributor to society, Are Afebabalola, CON, OFR, SAN, and his wife, Yeye Are Mudukwebabalola. Former President of Nigeria, Chief Ulusheng Obasanjo, GCFR. Former Head of State of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, General Yakubu Gowan, GCFR. Former Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Alpha Belgore, GCON. Member, Board of Trustees, Afeba Balola University, Adwekiti, Abuad. Senator Labi Idurujaye, who is the Chairman of the Nigerian Communications Commission, NCC. Executive Secretary of the National Universities Commission, NUC, Professor Abubakar Rashid, MFR, MNI, the Chairman and CEO Biscon Communications, Prince Bessiel Attila, among many other important personalities. Royal Fathers, majorly from the southwestern part of Nigeria, registered a huge presence at the commissioning. The Oni of Ife, His Imperial Majesty, Oba Adeyeye Togunse, the Ojaja II, was represented by the Luruka of Wani Kaife, architect Oba Bankole Ujutalayo, the Ewi of Adoikiti, His Royal Majesty Oba Rufus Adeye Malade Somi III, the Ataoja of Ushugu Oba Iyolao Yewale Matomi III, was ably represented by the Uluri of Ataoja, Uluri Adeola Uyetunji Matomi. The Vice Chancellor of Afeba Balola University, Adoikiti, Abuad, Professor Michael Ajishafe, in his opening remarks, welcomed all to the historic commissioning, which he said has raised educational standards in Africa high above expectation. The Vice Chancellor, Professor Michael Ajishafe, said, When the founder of the institution, Are Afeba Balola, declared 2018 as the year of new things, all members of the prestigious university, keyed in, because the founder has always been a man of his words, as a lot has happened since the beginning of the year. The Vice Chancellor, Professor Michael Ajishafe, talked about the many projects executed so far 
and used the opportunity to implore members of the public and students to take good advantage of his world-class facilities so as to build a brighter future for Africa. The reign of the new things continued again with the commencement of operations in an ultra-modern 400-bed multi-system hospital on March 21, 2018, during which our founder threw the doors of the hospital open for a four-day procedure at discounted rates and free consultation from March 21st to March 24th, 2018. The torrential rain of new things continues today with the commissioning of four projects, two of which are the first in Africa. They are the university's 80-meter fixed dome planetarium, the only one in Africa with astronomical observatory and one of the largest fixed planetariums in the world. These projects, facilities, and equipment combine to constitute a convincing boost to our university drive to institutionalize quality and functional education in Nigeria with the ultimate aim of ensuring that the nation recovers its lost glory in education. Words of advice, I'm using this opportunity to employ members of the public to take advantage of the planetarium to learn more about space and the new sophisticated telemedicine equipment, while the students should take maximum advantage of the great opportunities the commissioning of today will continually offer them by facing their studies, doing exactly what their parents have sent them here to do. On this note, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I thank you sincerely for listening and have a very enjoyable day with us in Abuad, the fastest growing university in Africa. Thank you and God bless you. Immediately after the welcome address, all dignitaries then proceeded for the commissioning of the state-of-the-art social and management science building as conducted by the Executive Secretary of the National Universities Commission, NUC, Professor Abubakar Rashid, who quickly expressed the satisfaction of the NUC with the huge project, which started on the 16th of December, 2017. The Nigerian university system is happy to have this excellent addition to its board. The Ake Babolola University has continued to set the pace. The university has continued to be the role model, not just a role model, the role model for universities in this country, not only private, no, no distinction, all universities. What we have seen so far in the last 20 hours or so since we have been to this institution gladdens our heart of what is certainly imagined as the largest and most accomplished private university in Nigeria in the name of God most gracious, most merciful I cut this step to declare this faculty of social and management sciences building open of God Thank you very much and congratulations. Congratulations. There was also the cutting of a celebration cake and a tour of this facility. I'm going to call the SMS and we will call the cake. S M S Round of applause please. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. This was immediately followed by the commissioning of the sophisticated telemedicine equipment that a standard-based 
and have been developed with an open system approach. This means the medical devices can be fully integrated with all AMD telemedicine products and are capable of integrating other third-party devices anywhere in the world. It means that doctors in Nigeria can connect with other specialists all over the world from the Abuad Hospital using the telemedicine facility. Former Head of State General Yakubu Gowan conducted the commissioning and the equipment was immediately put to test. Now that we commission uh, this uh, building, uh, the test medicine uh, department, and uh, we'll see the budget very soon. <laughs> In the name of the Father, Amen. the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you. How do you know the source of that blood? That's the purpose of that endoscopy machine. That we may need to call it an endoscopist and scope the inside of the tummy of that patient by passing a tube into the mouth. Camera. And at the end of that tube, there's a camera with light source. And the light will see everything with the camera happening and you reflect on that screen you are looking at. Even the patient himself or herself will be looking at what the problem is with his or her abdomen. And whatever remedy is supposed to be done will not be ordered by the doctor. So this, that's a diagnostic tool. That's, 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 yeah, that's a diagnostic tool. It also has an advantage of being used as a colonoscope Meaning. to look into the Inside of the large intestine, by passing a tube also through the anus to look critically into the colon, which otherwise is a large intestine. You know, and whatever remedy there have, have to be done will have to be done for that particular patient. Also, a diagnostic tool, very useful. Ideally, every Nigerian over 50 years of age should routinely have this done. Routinely, early diagnosis, early diagnosis and detection of cancer of the colon, which is very common nowadays. And um, if there's need for full surgical operations, they are carried out here. You can see the equipment that we have operating to move standard one of the anesthetic machine. The, that's the, that is a laparoscope tower, the purpose of which is to be able to do what they call minimally invasive surgery. For example, if someone has appendicitis, you may not have to open the abdomen with a wide incision. Through a single incision, you can remove your failing appendix and second the patient will go home. This is novel for it to happen in this part of Nigeria. Someone may have stone in the gallbladder with this equipment or give a wide incision, that is a wide cut in the right upper part of the abdomen through about three of to five decisions, you can remove offending stones inside the gallbladder and that machine. So, laparoscopic tower, and the procedure is called laparoscopy. So, Apple Multi System Hospital is so enriched with a lot of modern equipment that we make even our medical colleagues, both within this country and beyond. Stem, work stem in uh, this country, tourism. and the aim, one of the aims is to stem the um, advent of medical tourism. Currently, Nigeria loses Nigeria loses two billion dollars every year from yeah. medical tourism to Asia, America, Europe, etc., etc. Then we work with what is here, with the volume of infrastructure and the personnel, qualitative personnel, both foreign and local that we have. Abroad, but system hospital will be able to contribute to upping the quality of healthcare in our country. The commissioning of the gigantic postgraduate degree program building was next, as one of the royal fathers, the Ewe of Adoikiti, His Royal Majesty, Oba Rufus Adeye Malade Somi III, was joined by other eminent royal fathers to declare the hall open. We well, thank God for the people of the United States and Nigeria as a whole that this good thing is coming up during our own time. I want to pray that God will bless this building. 
all the people that you work there in, and our students too, that this is going to be the beginning of good things to come to our child of the state. In the name of God, the Father, Amen. God, the Son, Amen. and God, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The commissioning of the 18M Fixed Dome Planetarium was done by former President Chief Olusegun Obasanjo GCFR. The planetarium is a theater built primarily for presenting educational and entertaining shows about astronomy and the night sky. It is also for training in celestial navigation. This will help open doors for students to study space science at the Afebabalala University, Adwikiti, Abuad. May this be of great benefit to all concerned. When it was time for the goodwill messages, the royal father of the day, the Ewi of Adwikiti, His Royal Majesty, Oba Rufus Adeyem Aladi Summit III, started by thanking the founder of the university, Are Afebabalala, for bringing the huge project down to Adwikiti. He also thanked all the guests for coming. The Executive Secretary of the National Universities Commission, NUC, Professor Rashid Abubakar, expressed delight with what he saw at the Afebabalala University and promised to spread the good news to all NUC executive members. Professor Abubakar Rashid also thanked the founder for his immense contribution to the development of education in Nigeria and Africa. He prayed that the Almighty God will continue to reward him. Investments. I think we have to be realistic. We have to review ourselves. We have to tell ourselves the truth. And if possible, we may arrange with Chief uh, Matemba to come and pay a visit to this university, hold a meeting later in this university, so that we can this university be used as the catalyst for changing the way we do things in Nigeria, not only in medical education. And I think the issue of space, because NUC developed a, a, bench, a, a benchmark just last year on aerospace science and aerospace engineering, uh, a university that does not have this facility. So I think we are going to get that university to come here and visit, and then we will now urge Akiba Badola University to come up with programs around space, astrology, astronomy, I mean, all this space science, space engineering. Uh, this earth engineering, the silent space, let us all come together with some forces that will help Nigerians to join the rest of the world. Africa Development Bank's private sector specialist, Mr. Emmanuel Akimumi, who represented the president of the Africa Development Bank, Dr. Akimumi Adeshino, in his goodwill message, described the founder, Are Afeba Balola, as a great African leader and a flag bearer of sustainable development in Africa. He described the founder's tenacity and passion for excellence, innovation, human development, philanthropism, poverty elevation, integrity, hard work, and socioeconomic development in Nigeria and Africa as next to none. Mr. Emmanuel Akiumi further emphasized that the African Development Bank Group is honored and pleased to be a development partner of the Afe Babalola University. He described the Afe Babalola University, Adwikiti, Abuad, as a flag bearer of the AFDB's development strategies, stressing that the bank is also committed to the development of Abuad as a center for excellence in tertiary education in Africa. I thought I was okay. I think this is uh, really very really scary. And we pray that God will grant long life and sad death. And we continue to come back. Only seven months ago, we came here to launch the teaching Four months ago, exactly, we are here to launch the uh, industrial part. That industrial part is another story on the school. We come back, one that one to take off. The industrialization story of the state will change. Because when you see 
go and bring the list of industries in the city state. What do we have here? So many industries. Photographs, do photocopy making, all those things are no viable and live industries that can generate jobs. This university is bringing up industrial costs and we are also supporting it, which is going to change the industrial situation of this country and bring equity to life life and that equity is a fountain of knowledge. This university is actually demonstrating and giving meaning to that notation that we say is a fountain or fountain of knowledge. The land that they put the largest part of it. I'm not sure that that is the case. But all I know is that this university is trying to give meaning to it as a fountain of knowledge. The content is not it's not for it's not, it's not for it's not an end. It's a means to an end. Congratulations and wish you to come over here. Can assure you that you have support of African Development Bank anytime. Thank you so much. Our university is 21st century university. It will be a 21st century university. We have to be a modern university in technology, in environment, in structure, and equipment. And this is are the things we have done so much so that everybody appreciates this place now as a modern university. As a matter of fact, when the AUC came here, we saw our equipment, the infrastructure, and everything that is necessary in a modern university. We described the university as a model, a benchmark, actually, and reference point. Actually, the man said, the model. The, the model. <laughs> so, uh, we want to retain that position because my mission after I left University of Lagos was to try start a university that would be a reference point, an example to all others. The best way to teach is to teach by example. That was what the Lord Jesus Christ did all the time when he taught by parables and so on and so forth. And fortunately, then you see I appreciate what we are doing. And now causes the pride of university system in education in this country. And uh, the CBC, that is the Committee of Bachelor of our University, as the most successful private university in Nigeria. Mm. And that was why I said, look, if education could be the catalyst for making what I am, why can't I invest in education now? Please let me tell you, if you have quality education, we won't have a around. If you have quality education, we won't have unemployment. If you have quality education, we won't have all the problems we have today, including hatred, tribalism, and so on. Education will make you be, know each other and love each other. And that's why I pray to government to give priority to education and call it private institutions. When I say private institutions, non-profit institutions, non-profit making institutions, and encourage them. We are not going to collect by government at all. We had a tech fund, which is money collected 2% from private investors, private companies. They are not giving to us. You don't say give us money, but encourage in research and development in fully established private universities. I don't say good money to people to go and establish universities. No. People will steal the money. I know us. I know Nigerians. From the chairman and CEO Biscan Communications, Prince Bessiel Atilo, we salute the founder of the Afebabalola University, Aduikiti, Abuad, Are Afebabalola, on the incredible feat.